There's a surprise. There's a surprise in this RV? Yes. All right, take me to it. Mom, that's you. Surprise. There's actually two surprises. There's two surprises? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Wow. Oh. Awesome. So you got the USB right there. Just click it Plug back. In, two cup holders. You got some kind of buttons on the sides, and, too. And heat and vibration. Nice. And it's working right now? Yes. Outstanding. Of course, an amazing cable. So this is the bunk room. Wow. So you almost have a very similar couch. It just doesn't do the vibration and stuff. And I can tell you it, it folds out to a bed. I told this bed. Okay. So now think oh, about... Think about our friends, Sam, Judah, and Emma. Think this would be a good room for them? Judah goes up there. Well, who goes up here? Let's like, get the whole kid to show it. Can't show us all these lights. So, are so there's no, no power up here. I don't think there's any power on this at all. There is a small closet back here. But you could hang a few shirts up in if you wanted to. You got the light right here. This is too bad, I think. What is that? Oh, here we go. Folds out USB. You could put another air conditioner up here if you wanted to. You could put a TV here. It's more solid right there to put a TV. Got a window out the back. Air conditioner vents. So here's the half bath with its own exit. The candy sitting at the office. Oh, and the other day yeah. I went, I went, where'd the Halloween candy go? And I came up here, oh, okay. There it is. <laughs> Colin Joe, let us know if we can help. Thank All right, you. thank you. I got white cherry. Thanks. Did you see the half bath with its own exit door? Oh yeah, so you could go, so you could go to the bathroom. Wow. And you can es escape. If, you know, dad's in the other room and he's done a fluffy, and then you can escape out the bathroom door. Dad, you did a fluff, eh? In my face! Can you open that bottom door for me? Maybe the cat could go in there. The fan is a little bit small up here. Okay, you can close those. That's probably a water heater or something down there. It's got a vent, but there's a drawer under the fridge. It is a 12 volt fridge, so that's awesome. It's decent size. Window over the sink. Look at that neat cutting board they included that says Venture RV burned in. They got the little thing to pop out to put your sponge in. Three drawers. It comes with a little grate to go over the sink. Excellent spray nozzle. I think that they're really loving that couch. Dinette, pretty basic and simple in the dinette. I do like the light up here. There's a door. Okay, I gotta go do the front bathroom. So Tanya, did you go up into the front? So it doesn't have the window seat. Yeah. It has the window though. So we've got the fireplace, window over that. We've got the storage on the sides. I guess that's not powered up. Yep, you can hang shirts, but it's kind of awkward. And you hang it front to back like that so you could have shirts hiding in the background. It's all open right there. You've got blinds that close like that. Closet over there, a little bit of storage up front, USB and a plug-in over the bed. No place on the sides though for fans and things like that. Serta mattress. Storage under the bed. Oh. Okay, 
let's check out the shower. There's our toilet right there. We've got the round shower. Sink right here. Level Mate Pro. Interesting. All right, so in the shower, it's a little bit tight. We close this rounded door here. Six foot three to about a six foot five, six foot six ceiling right here with the skylight. There's an exhaust fan over the toilet for when dad makes a fluffy. Hi. Hi. There's a motion light right here next to the toilet. Oop, turns the fan on. Hello. Mom's gonna fall asleep. That vibration and the heat is really getting to you, huh? I feel the heat. This little storage cabinet's overhead. Could maybe put some homeschooling books up here. Someone wants this door. Lock it? Mm -hmm. Why do you want me to lock you in? Because I'm a dragon stuck in a cage. <laughs> Hi. Meow. All right, storage under here comes with bins that can pull out. That's pretty cool. See that, Tommy? Mm. It has the IRV stereo, which is the same thing we have. Coat closet right here by the door. And then awning, porch lights, water pump. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna go film the outside. So the furnace does not have an outside panel. It just has the vent right here, which means that most likely underneath the stove is, we were seeing that vent, that is gonna be the furnace. Here's the half bath. So we've got this outside kitchen, which we've got the suburban griddle. We've got a sink here, which I enjoy these. I think that's pretty cool. This whole thing folds back. Question is, yep, that water actually is plumbed to a holding tank. Has its own separate stereo out here, which is pretty cool. I have not seen that before where they have two separate stereos. Fridge is a little bit smaller. Throw some waters and some sodas in there. So when you go to these travel trailers like this, you don't get a whole lot of pass-through storage. Some of them don't even have pass-through. This one does. Got some stuff here so you can get your tire. Not sure what that light's for. Probably the front. I don't know. Looks like I got two 30-pound propane cans here. Electronic jack on the front. Wow. I can't get through there. There's Kira. Hi, Kira. With my amazing lollipop. How amazing is it? It's a white cherry, of course. It's so amazing, 100%. Awesome. 100 pound. Nope, 10,795 is the gross vehicle weight rating. The batteries are currently absent. Well, I found the water heater. So the water heater is all the way in the back underneath the bunk room. And I guess that's, oh, that's the tank flush. It does have a ladder. I'm having a hard time getting around. It has a two inch receiver hitch, plus a bumper that can be used for storage. Yeah, it's a, you could spray water at somebody. So we went and sought out this Sport Trek Touring Edition from Venture RV because our friends are interested in this one. We were even really interested when we found out that they put fireplaces in the master bedroom. Some of them, this one unfortunately does not, but some of them even have a little window seat, like a reading nook in the front of the RV in your master bedroom. I thought, how cool is that? 
So we found this one, it's pretty nice. I think it would work well for our friends. They've got three kiddos. The bunkhouse would work well to hold their kids. I think it is a good size for them. It has a cargo capacity of 1755, but if they're gonna, that's pretty good in my opinion for a travel trailer because then they can still fill up the back of their truck with their other storage stuff, which the reason they want a travel trailer is so that they can keep all their camping gear in the back end of their truck. So they can leave this at the RV park and then they can go like tent camping. So I think that this model is pretty awesome. Got this awesome outdoor kitchen. So I hope that they get to take a look at it someday. This is the uh, 2023 Sport Trek 343 BBH. What do you think, Kira? I like the bedroom and I like the secret of the couch. The secret of the couch. You know what? I don't think I ever looked at this little pantry right here. Never seen this long. They're not worried about girls that might be six foot five. So I think that this would be acceptable for them. There's a little closet back there. You rotate it out and there's USB behind it. I don't know. It took me, it took me about two minutes. I still can't get it. There, USB. Oh, rotate that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it took me a while to get it. It's adventure camping. So it's like a tap, oh, it's Velcro. Looks like it comes with it. There's also a closet, a small closet back here. You got a couch. So the weird thing on these closets, the shirts don't hang sideways, they hang front to back. So it seems a little odd to me because then your shirts in the back, you'd forget about. Yep. Hi, <laughs> right, y'all ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's head out. Whoa, check this out. Oh, oh you can close this. A little skylight. The cutting board is kind of a nice, cool touch, too. To the left. Everybody go to your left. This way. To the left, to the left. We would go into one of the. Yes, that white van. I'll, I'll let you go in that. Welcome to, to the deluxe van. The deluxe van? Ooh, yes. fancy. Wow. Did you find the bathroom? No, not yet, but I took it to my own. I found the bathroom. You sit on the toilet and take a shower. I yes. He sits on the toilet. Yes. He comes right off the sink. Like the countertop is very nice. So the back transforms into a bed, I'm guessing. The mirror opens. Nice. The sink. Hello, Kira. Your baby room cup holders here. So all this couch back here turns into one big bed. Oh my goodness, it's so squishy. You have a TV right there, so whether you're sitting on your couch or you're laying on your bed, you have a little TV. This is a nice little, this is a nice little cute home. Home? It's a home. You like it? Yeah. If it was just you and you weren't married, could you imagine living in this by yourself? Yes. Yeah. Kira, stop pushing buttons. I'm not pushing any buttons. You can't read. I don't know what you're putting. There's no words on them. So bright in there. Hi. Oh, it doesn't have any words. Oh, get out of here. 